We'll start with making 2D measurements. Start by pressing the freeze key. And we're going to get this calc button to push it down and we could take our measurements. I am setting an OB measurement right now, so it immediately went to the OB biometry measurements here, which is the default. So I could take my first measurement, and here it's going to give me a biparietal diameter and gestational age. I'll click and save that. The head circumference. I'm going to hit set, and now I've got that ellipse. So first I'm going to hit this. And then I'm going to hit set, and then I can change the ellipse here. And then if I want to change any of those cursors, I'm going to press that top key to change it and go back and forth, and I can change each cursor and how it works. I can use these to change how that trace is made. If I want an ellipse, an area trace, or points. I kept it on the area ellipse when I did that. And then it saves my calculation and also gives me my percentages down at the bottom. Down here it also says left or right side. This is more for any other types of calculations where you're going to be measuring something on the left side of the body or the right side of the body for the general OB. Obviously you won't be doing that. Now if I want to clear some measurements or delete them, I have two keys. I have this clear key here and the delete. Clear is going to change and completely erase all those measurements. Now since I'm frozen I can also take a look at my reports. Click this report over here and it's going to show the measurements I've made here. I can click on them and edit those measurements as well just by simply deleting and typing in a new value. And you can preview the report or print, print from the report here. You can also include, if you want, the graphs, the fetal anatomy, and what kind of worksheets you want. Down here it says page one of five. You can press the up and down arrows to add any of those bio, biometric measurements on there and any notes that you want to add. You can go through the fetal anatomy here. And also it's here it shows the graphs, and here's the exam comment. So you can exclude any of those from the report or include them. And if you want to say the positions, the right kidney, left kidney. And it's got a whole bunch of options here already set for things that you can enter for each piece of the anatomy. We'll click Exit. And that report is the same for all the different measurements you'll do, whether it's a vascular report or OB. Depending on the measurements you made, that will be the report that shows up. So let's go into some other types of calculations. Now again, if you, I'm an OB. If I was doing an abdominal study, if I hadn't chosen this application, if I had chosen an abdominal application to begin with, and let's just say I chose abdomen, when I click Calc, it's going to give me abdominal calculations. And in the system setup, you can change which measurements show up on that screen and what the default application is. So if you are using an abdomen but you still want OB measurements or vice versa, you can assign those calculations to show up when you hit the calc button in that application. So go back to 2D. I'm going to choose a different application here. Just go back to OB and let's just say I want to take a heart rate. I'm going to go ahead and hit pulse wave Doppler, as we showed in the last chapter, and adjust my gait. I'm going to give me some gains so you can see it a little better. And then I'm just going to hit update. I'm going to click auto so it automatically adjusts that scale. And I'm going to freeze that image. Here, let's say I'm doing a carotid, I can choose the left or right side. I can choose auto trace. I'm going to go ahead and choose carotid since that's what most will do. You can do an auto trace and it will automatically calculate everything for you. So it says left carotid as I've done up there. And I can click accept. I can change the values by using this and scrolling this trackball. You'll see the values change as I scroll the trackball and choose my peak and end. 
go ahead and click set if I wanted to, but I don't want to do that right now. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and hit two for just measuring manually the peak systolic. Here we have this cursor. It comes up top. I put that cross on the peak systolic. Then if I want to choose end diastolic, I would do the same here. So again, we can press report to view our worksheet to see the measurements that it made. So we have first our OB measurements, and here we have our Doppler measurements, and we can page down to see the rest of the Doppler measurements that were made. And I just took the peak systolic and end diastolic, and that's what's showing up there. Now kind of a hidden feature here is that you can change which calculation it uses just by simply hitting the set key. And some of these work, some of them don't, like you can do the AUA or CUA. Like it won't work here though, but these, some of these have like a reset in them, like a reset area. You can see a black box around it, and you can make those with the black box around it have the edited features like here. And here I can click on them, they have that little box around them. Now I did make a change in that calculation before, and it has that little asterisk showing that I made that. And down here. I can choose the average, max, minimum, or last if I had made multiple measurements, and other items like that. Down here I can hit V to preview the report. And that's going to show me what it looks like when it's done, and I can do print to print to report printer. And that'll do the current one or all reports of the printer. And then P will print it to the report printer. And if I'm done, I can just click exit.